the Daily Talk Show, episode 722, and this is a different type of episode. Uh, we've got Grace Paris, Gemma Watts, Amy Jacket, and Brianna Phillips sitting down and taking over the show for half an hour. They sat down at midnight during our 24-hour live stream and just started chatting. Uh, they talk about some really interesting topics, motherhood, parenting, the pressures of society, being an only child. Uh, and this wasn't intended at all to be released as a podcast, but it was so interesting we thought we should. So we pick it up where they're asking Grace about her family, and I hope you enjoy this one. This is episode 722. I do. I have an older brother, so he's 27, mm-hmm. 28 this year. He was meant Beautiful. to get married in on April 4th this year, but obviously due to the pandemic... They had to postpone the wedding till January next year. Yeah, yes, so, it it, and I was a bridesmaid and I was MC at the oh. wedding. And oh. I know, Cute. so it was quite sad. I feel but, like that's going to be um, Gemma's jam, being an MC. I've got a <laughs> lot of those gigs lined Gemma, up no one's getting married. I'd love to. I mean, if I'm not, I'm going to kill wedding. you. Yeah, yeah, if I'm not the MC in the Seb's wedding. Whatever I say. Yeah, if it's not that, I'm going to kill both of you. So, yeah, I guess. (laughs) Fair enough. Even if I'm not marrying him, that's fine. Um, So, yeah, no, so Mm. my older brother said they're postponed till January next year, 23rd of January. Mm. So I'll have to come back to Perth next year anyway in the summer, which is great. But, um, yeah, it's exciting. But... Everything's been planned. We had all the dresses, all the flowers, all the shoes, all the hair, all the tans, everything, mm. you know, wow. planned. And then it was about a week before everything got shut down. They decided to postpone it themselves. So mm. a bit you. sad, but then also like obviously understandable that with the current situation. So, yeah. Well, ne- January next year is going to be a great, year, a great month. Great month. Wow. You were about to say a great year, <laughs> and that's how many social I mean, media into that month. January I mean, twenty twenty, a great year. Gemma, will be my birthday next <laughs> next January. So it will, and twenty know, days later is what the wedding is. <gasps> that's it. I, Amy knows mm. my birthday is, guys. <laughs> so no, that's it. So it, yeah, it it'll be a it'll be a great month. It'll be great Christmas, you know, Christmas, New Year's period and then birthday and then wedding. Do you have Christmas so, traditions, Grace? Um, We do have like the fa- like the immediate family. So like my mum, my brother, his fiancé and myself, we have lunch on Christmas Day. Boxing Day is usually, usually the extended family. So mum is one of Is that a set 10. lunch? Like, do you, wow, we're going to put a pin yeah. in that and come mm-hmm. back around. Okay. Do you... Do you have like the same thing that you cook each Christmas lunch or is it, does it change? Like one day it's like, we're going to do a burrito Christmas. No, so it's usually like. No, we don't no that's when they come to mind for New Year's. That's it, yeah. No, so usually it'll be. <laughs> when my grandparents were still alive, that we used to have the full, because my grandparents were Scottish, we used to have the full like turkey ham pork mm. roast and then now it's kind of like my brother does a ham my mum and i will do like a turkey or something uh, with, with salads like roast is potatoes. Or something a chicken it, yeah or something is a chicken with with every kind of roast vegetable you can think of um Amazing. and then on boxing day we have the extended family come over and kind of bring their leftovers and have, we'll have like a a, a a dining table worth of food and we just kind of pick at that and and everything so that's kind of our christmas tradition because everyone's the family's so big that's why we yep. kind of split it into the two mm. so yeah so your mum one of ten mm-hmm. that's a yeah. big family Shit, Shit. i thought my mum was bad i thought I'm, i had I'm, a lot because i'm one of six yeah same yeah so mum so mum's one of 20 uh, 10 sorry I'm the 24th grandchild out of 24. Wow. So I'm the youngest. So all my cousins are older than me. And so they still treat me like I'm seven You're years old, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, You're I'm the baby. Nice that's it. Too. Yeah, it's kind that's of cute, true. but it's also like I'm not 
like you can talk to me like an like an adult. So <laughs> I'd be close you know. to the twentieth of the grandchildren. Mm. I reckon mum's one of seven. Yeah. But yeah. That's our family family. just oof, everyone's married and remarried and then the children have children oh, and yeah oof. that's the thing Jem. Mm. all my fam all my cousins have kids so mm. i'm like your kids are closer in age to me than i am yeah. to you which is weird mm. but mm-hmm. it's kind of how the family goes and you kind of just it's go exactly with the those. same as mine what's, what's i can't wait to speak this from you. what's the age difference from youngest to oldest of your mum's siblings like what's the gap? Um, ish. Twenty. Mine's really good. Ish years. I'm I really think. excited, Jim. Yeah. How many? What's 26? yours, Jim? Twenty twenty-five so, ish years between yeah, wow. mum and my mum's younger sibling and her older sibling. I think that. But is it like that. even? What, what do you mean even? So for mum, mum's one of seven. But they had the first six, have they're all like one or two years apart. Oh, no. And then number oh. seven is a decade apart. A decade. So, wow. Yeah. And they've all That's got huge. like super Irish Catholic names. There's like. Oh, Gem, my family. Um, is Gillian, my family Theresa, is Scottish Mary Catholic, Maguire. Scottish Catholic. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. they're going to have like the crazy names. So the youngest sibling is Jared. And because he is so much younger than all of them, they told him that his name is actually Gerhard and that he was just found on the doorstep and he fully believed that for a very long time. (laughs) That's Gerhard. Bless him. But, like, the the funny part is that he looks exactly the same as my poppy who has passed away before I was born, but you look at photos, exactly the same. So there's no way... That he mm, was adopted, but yeah. If you're ten oh, years so younger sweet. than your youngest sibling, and you've been told mm. your name is Girl, yeah. ridiculous, isn't it? What about oh your family? <sighs> yeah, Bree, you're one of six. Where's the boys go? Yeah, um, I can hear Josh Who talking cares? out there. I'm not sure if he's setting something up because I was going to ask him to help me around the banner. Or just show me how to do it. Well, don't worry, Brisa, talk to us about you. We care about um, you. Yeah, one of six. I'm one of six, but they're hearts. So my dad's my dad has actually been married three times. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he had three I'm one of kids. six mm-hmm. too. Are you? <gasps> I just realised. Yeah, because my dad remarried in there. No, I'm one of three, six. I'm one of eight. <laughs> oh, well, so wow. am I. Oh, actually, if you look so at lovely. it like that, well, not necessarily because like dad six is all the same anything. kids to my dad so we've got like three from my dad's first marriage and then three from the second yeah. which is what i'm from and then he got remarried oh. again and she already had two kids so it's like quite a big family wow. oh so you are one of eight as well yeah like, it's actually technically... kind of um yeah and then i've got a nephew now too he's like one and a half he's so cute oh beautiful yeah. i can't oh. wait to have nieces and nephews oh, wow oh he's i fine. won't have any why not? Oh, yeah. You can, you you can, can play with mine, Auntie to Bodhi. It's cute. Yeah, Jen, I'm you a, can I'm, my kids. <laughs> I would love that. I'm big on like a few of my friends now have had babies and I'm Auntie Jem and I love it because I'm an That's only child fun. and Chris is one of two and his sister, I, I doubt, will have children. So we are, we're just surrogate auntie and uncle to everyone. Oh, beautiful. I think that's nice, cousin, though. Like the My cousin's the an only child. That, oh, oh sorry. so sorry, darling. My, just really that, quick, okay. my cousin's an yeah. only child yeah. and she's she's like just told me at the last family do that I was at. She's like, by the way, I'm an auntie to Bodhi because I don't have any siblings and you're oh. my cousin and that's how it's going to be. And I was like, oh, that's didn't nice. even have to that's say beautiful. That, that is so beautiful, but isn't it? That. Yeah, it's mm. beautiful. I love family. And that's the thing. I was going to say, like, it's so lovely to be like, you know what, technically you're not the auntie and uncle, but mm-hmm. you you mean the auntie and uncle role in my family. Mm. So you're going to be the 100%. auntie and uncle to my kids. Like a lot of my friends, I'm like, you're not related to me, but I can just see that you're going to be in my life for so long that you're going to yeah. be the auntie and uncle to my kids. Like that's just what's going to happen. I think that's a nice thing. My school friends are auntie Mm. and uncle to Bodhi. Yeah. 
It's so beautiful. I think that's the yeah. best thing. My parents were, um, my parents have like many, many friendship groups, but they're the friendship group they've kind of been like in for the longest. A lot of them don't have children, but I look at all of mm. them as auntie and uncle. My, like my mm. godparents have never had children and they're, you know, auntie Kate, uncle Jack. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it's just, it's the same thing. Like beautiful. if you're that close with people. Yeah, see that. But I, I think, think it comes yeah, back think... down to the like you can choose friends. Mm. You, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends, kind of thing, you know. Mm. And and you can choose the people that you want in your life. Yeah, you, I love yeah, the so. friendships that my parents have. Like I look up to the way that they interact with their friends. I just I like idolize the way that they socialize, and I just like that is what I want. They put so much value in the relationships that they have with their family, but also outside of their family. And I'm like, that mm. is how much value should be placed on friendships. I think it should be the same across the board. Yeah, that's mm. definitely that's so beautiful. As I hear them listening to Dean Martin, I guarantee if I open the door, oh, they would be favorite. dancing. Beautiful. Oh, so cute. One of the they have the when best I first started dating Tommy that I really um, appreciated was he he had friendships like he'd meet up with his friend who was like 50 40 like they were, they were all across all like generations and I remember thinking like man like mine are all within like maybe a 10 year age span and mm. just thinking how how beautiful it was like some of those were like you know kind of woven in from his family and from experience and how I just so want that for Bodhi like I would love mm. like the richness of that experience and those like that life lived and I just think it's so beautiful but I really think he'll get yeah, that knowing you and knowing TJ and just watching like I've known how long have I known TJ and and JJ for probably two years now and just watching yeah, the reckon. way that you guys are with Bodie I just he is gonna have the best time oh he's just, yeah anything you want for so. him is a hundred percent that's so happen. beautiful to hear as well isn't it Grace, you are going to fall in love with Bodhi in three and a half too. seconds. I mean, I, I'm i sorry, Amy. I've already fallen in ready, love with him but over. But he's yeah. just got like, I don't know, he's just got like he's chutzpah. Just, he just, yeah. I he's, love he's kids. Got I it. love kids. And mm, like, this is something so that much. I've told Gemma before. I'm not sure if you remember, but honestly, like where, you know, in this time where COVID is and you're not sure what, the future holds and it's, uh, it's all a bit whatever and we we kind of were thinking we don't know we don't know if we'll have a second like we always kind of had it in our plan and now mm. we're thinking like oh I, I don't know but um watching the relationship jam that you have with your parents and just how fulfilled you are and close you are and there doesn't seem to be a need I think that there's almost like this myth that is like every child needs a sibling yeah. and I feel like watching you and how how much that I feel that you just dispel that by being so happy and making your family like those you surround yourself with has made us kind of or me has made me just kind of look and go oh I don't think that he'll be missing out on mm -mm. on on anything like he'll be gaining something else if he's an only child and it's made me go oh, I don't think that that has to be the only way which i thought it was i you know. oh, i very so much cool. remember you saying that because i told my parents and we all had a little we all held hands and got emotional <laughs> together oh, we're not so um, beautiful yeah i just i like it's i thought gorgeous. that was the nicest thing and we're we're not mm. a super emotional family my dad's pretty sentimental but mum and i are pretty like guards up at all times but i thought that was the most beautiful thing um yeah, I think it's a to each their own. But I had a I had a funny moment just during the week. I did um we did a nice social distance walk myself and one of my um, best girlfriends, Breeze up Fee, you met. At, oh, yeah. Um Looks yeah, like it's a beautiful model. Fee. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> like it's disgusting. Like you look at her and she is Gigi Hadid. It's actually so disgusting. Anyway, 
we're walking and she's one of three and she was like oh do you just the I mean you know how you've got your friends where you just know their tone Mm. she was like oh do you reckon you'll have two or three children as though those (laughs) were only two options I was like oh Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll have one. Maybe I'll have zero. Maybe I'll have 400. Like, what What do you mean yeah. two or three? And she was, oh, well, I just was thinking about just my upbringing and I really enjoyed it. And I was just, oh, do I want two or do I want three? And I was like, well, I just, I don't think that there's a definitive argument for any number of children. I think there are so many factors and, like, I have loved being an only child and I have I honestly think I have the best relationship with my parents I love them so much but if I were an only child with you know different parents perhaps it wouldn't be the Mm. case if I were one of four with siblings that I didn't gel with like I just I don't think you can come up with a definitive answer because you don't know what could come from the alternative yeah Yeah. it just yeah I know it's a totally great it's and a funny, you funny. also don't know what's going to come from it. Oh, sorry, Amy, but like you don't know what's going to. That's right. You don't know. No. When, when you tr- when you try, you you don't know what's going to come. Like you mm. you don't know if if you are able to have children or not, which is I think exactly for women and and especially for me, it's something that's like I've always thought about. Not that I've ever tried for children, but it's like, oh, when I do try children, what will happen? I don't know. Yeah. But also, like, and, and, I and always that, assumed and that's issue. that, yeah, and I always assumed that mm. I would have two to three, like that, mm. that <laughs> just like your friend, Gemma, yeah. and then had one and thought, God, I love him more than anything in the world. But, and I thought that I would be a natural mum, but logistically, I actually find it really hard. Like, mm. thinking about, like, all right, what are you going to eat next? Okay, um, wh- yeah. well, we have to like put you in the shower and now you have to brush your teeth like all of these things constantly i just i honestly felt overwhelmed by which i was so surprised with because all my friends would say you're gonna be natural mom all this stuff and my mom Mm. loved being a mom and she was an incredible mom and i always just thought it's in the genetics like i've got this in the Mm. bag became but you're a great mom amy and it's every yeah, mother are. is different, you know. It's a hundred percent, and I think that I am. But I just also know, I know that I know the toll it takes on me. And I thought, I mm. thought that it would come easy, if that makes sense. And it I does really work at it. I yeah. understand that because I think the same. I think that for me, I'm like, yeah, it'll come easy for me. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't have kids. Mm. It is hard to no. know. So some, like I, I don't, don't, I don't have no idea what's going to happen. But I feel like I'm going to be f- great with kids because I'm great with kids regardless. Mm. So, well, see, you know, I know. One of my, one of my when I, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, Bri. Oh, I was just going to say really quickly. One of my friends who I thought would be like we all were like, oh, look out for this one. Like mm. she's going to struggle. Mm. She's onto a second and nailing it. And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, like you just, yeah. You just can't tell. And I almost think that the fact that like, I'm a, I'm a super emotional feeling person. She's not. And I almost feel like in this case, it helps her because she's just like, no, just get on with it and just do it. Whereas I'm just like, oh, you're feeling bad. Okay. And then I feel bad. And then like, we're feeling bad together. And then let's try to get out of this together. And she's able to just get on with it. And you just don't know. I thought that that would be a real mm. um, help for me in this. And and I think that it's really good for my relationship with Bodie, but I think bringing another kid in the mix would, I would make it work, but I think it would be just so hard. Mm. Oh, definitely. You can, you so can only imagine how hard it would be. Yeah. Mm. And, and I mean, I wouldn't have any idea because, like, I mean, obviously Josh and I don't have kids. Um and we sort of decided early on, because we've been together like forever since we were like mm. 16, known mm. each other for like ever as well. Um, so beautiful. And we sort of decided when we were quite mm. young, I don't know why, but instinctively I was like, I don't want to be a parent. And Josh was the same. It's like, I also don't like, and that was like a decision that we made early on. And then about two years ago, I started having all these issues with like, potentially being able to conceive and whatnot and I had this like split moment where it actually all of a sudden is taken away from you and you're like oh actually would I be a parent I don't know Mm. Um, I do you revisit it together 
Every now and then, but not so much. I mean, it's really hard because, like, I love what we have together now. Yeah. Um, and, like, we're really yeah. happy with it and we've really gotten to a place where we're, like, it's really good and I don't know – and I don't know whether I've told myself that story now because it, mm, I don't yeah. know. It's hard to know. Um, it is, Brisa, yeah. what was that – obviously, like, you don't have to answer this, but I – what was that like with your friends? Because I don't consider myself to be um, naturally very maternal and I've spoken mm. to mum about this and she was the same. Her and dad, when they, they got engaged quite late and they were like, if we fall pregnant, great. If we don't, big whoop. Um, dad was different but mum was sort of where I'm at. I I would love to have a family but it's not. it's really not my be all and end all and I have had a strange kind of experience with my girlfriends from high school who were like, we we want to be mums, we've got this timeline and it, I don't know, it's just a funny pressure. So did you have like a similar thing with your friendship group or were they very like, yeah, whatever, to each their own? Yeah, I think they've sort of been only very few of my friends' uh, parents, but I think they have been each their own also because like with my nephew, I will see him every weekend if I could um, and like all those sort of things and, I'll, you know, close with my friends and their kids. Um, so I think I get so much enjoyment out of being with them and it doesn't really – I think when I say it to my friends where I say, oh, I don't, I don't want to have kids, they're like, oh, like I just expected you – to be a parent. I don't know why though. Like you've mm -hmm. got that maternal instinct in you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my two sisters really struggled to have children as well. Like they, you know, um, have that endometriosis. Um, and I remember f younger feeling a lot of guilt, not wanting by choice and not wanting to have yeah. kids um, when it was mm. fine for me. I mean, and now it's just so happened that it would be tricky anyway. Um, mm. But yeah. So, so I think I, I myself in my mind hold a lot of guilt and resentment to myself for that because early on I thought, oh, well, it's easy for me and people are unfortunate and I should want to have them. Mm. Um, but in terms of like with my friends and stuff, it's all been fairly easy. No one That's judges good. me like, oh, you don't want to have kids. Mm. But it is That's different so when you go on different schedules and trying to plan around yeah. things because they're like, mm. like, oh, with different times. It's against the norm as well, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah, I've only recently shaken the um the selfish branding, which has been super fun to educate my friends on that not everyone mm -hmm. is on the same path, and you know we all want different things in life. So different mm. as well. Yeah, so I feel like different paths as well, like selfish for something that you can't change. Mm. Like you can't mm. change what you want. You can't change the way that like your orientation and I feel like that's almost mm. kind of in the same basket like the way that you're just naturally and the funny thing is about that also Brie is that arguably the selfish thing is to actually have children because of like environmental reasons and those kind of things mm. and it's so funny that society or whatever it is whatever the the factors are mm cause guilt mm. in, in and i think we put so much pressure like on ourselves want. yes to be a certain definitely person. it's a lot um, it's because society intense. says it as well doesn't it yeah like, we're absolutely you're conditioned to be like to, this is yeah you're this meant to away. produce children mm. Mm. like that's what that's what it is like oh you're gonna grow up to be a woman okay you develop and then you have a career when are you gonna have kids that's it's yeah. kind yeah. of that uh, well, yeah. for me especially, it's, it's that kind of timeline. Like you have a career, when are you going to have kids? You have a career, yeah. get married and have kids. So, it, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, so it's weird that we're conditioned, as as you guys were saying, we're conditioned to that kind yeah. of lifestyle. But I'm getting now. It takes on your body. Like mm. I, I think I only that imagine. that is completely underestimated and just expected of you. And I was so shocked like when I gave birth, I, I think that I had, I was in trauma after that because mm. I was just so shocked at what it took. Mm. I, yeah. I, I couldn't oh. believe it. And, and I can only everyone's imagine. so different. Their yeah. stories are so different. Mm. And honestly, like the, the positives to this is that most of my friends like had really positive experiences mm. and were really happy 
with the way that everything went. So I don't want I don't want to like fear monger or anything like that. But I, mm. I just was in a position where I I just couldn't believe what it took, and was I think I think it honestly took me like a couple years to get over. Like I'm oh, at the point mm. now where I'm like, okay, if 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 we're in a position to do it again, I would do it again. But there was like a mm. year or two where I was like, never again. It was just too traumatic. Yeah. I'm in this strange position now where it's like Chris Chris is so good with children and he's always wanted children and he has always said like he we've been together for almost nine years now so he has said from day one oh, I would love to be a stay-at-home dad mm. but now we're in this funny position where people are like oh well how wonderful that he doesn't have to do that because you work from home mm. so you wow. you can just you can just do it. Oh, how perfect. No. You see, just, it's that oh, easy. That might be you so can, anyone, honestly, mm. anyone who says that you can work from home and look after oh. kids hasn't had kids. It's nah. like, to mm. do it for a week and I, like, I <laughs> fell for him. It was uh, it's it's hard. Really, like, I can't imagine. Yeah. You can't do, um, it, no, you can't. And when I was looking after Bodhi, I've got my, was, I could have fit in uh, maybe 15 minutes of work. Night. Sorry. <gasps> I have Joshua oh, Jansen here behind me hovering and I feel quite bad who's um, that? that I'm still talking, but I'm going to give this yeah, back who's to you. Jay? Who's Joshua Jansen? But I would love to see 3D and Jill. This is, this is oh, you're now Tommy's there. I, d- I did love this. <laughs> I love you guys. This I was a great this. chat. Love this you was guys. a really nice yes. female it was time. Nice, wasn't it? it was. It was very <laughs> nice. Female-centric. Yes. Maybe we should do that more. <laughs> I actually forgot that we were oh, like on a thing for a time. I I thought we were just chatting as well. That's where the magic yeah, happens. it was very nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was really mm. nice. I love you all. I love My you choice all. has been made. You guys were amazing. My things. Oh, thank you, love baby it. boy. Can you show me how to run the banner? Nice. Yeah. 